I can hear you. Go for it. Okay. So what this program has done for me is uh, I thought the weight loss was going to be really good and the most fun about it all, but it was the second part of it. And uh, it was the brokenness that I had that I didn't think anybody could ever fix. And between this program and going to a church service in Phoenix that my daughters are part of, it was working on all the, um, the anxiety and the anger and the control. So with the program and with the church service that day, it was the thing that finally made me see, you know, that I could be fixed, that there is a hope for me and that, uh, that my family could be fixed because we came from a very broken place. And now with the faith and the confidence, my husband and I are able to go fix our family. So we have started full force, you know, by everything you've said, Brad, is that you just go for it. You, you just you know, you go for it. So Steve and I have gone for it and repaired relationships. So as far as um, connecting with everybody to, to um, repair our lives, I've also been out there planting seeds. So I've done both at the same time. And before I could only do one thing at a time. And now I'm learning how to do multiple things at a time. And it's fixing my life and my family in ways that I could never imagine. And I don't even know how the finance part works. All I know is that I look really good because I'm down to my weight and I'm, we're fixing our family. And that's the biggest thing that I've never, I've never known how to do that. And because of this program, I've learned how to get a hold of my life and, and do it in a way that I'm not selfish, that it's for the best of everybody. So that's where we are right now. I love that. Sorry, I just had to mute a few other people because people are popping on here. Hold on, make sure I got them muted because they were talking over you. Um, just double check that you're muted, everybody. But Lisa, thank you for teeing up exactly what we are going to be covering here throughout these few months. We are going to cover a little bit of compensation today so you can understand how that works. But we focus on getting healthy and we focus on helping others. And this is the setup for what we're going to be doing this next month. And uh, kind of like you were saying there, Lisa, and I'm sure a lot of people can resonate this. I see. Um, Dan on here I, with a group of people. I see Lisa and Gary and I see Shannon and I see DJ and DJ, I know you're new, but like I never knew that like this half eaten bar that I wasn't able to finish before we started this event would be the thing that started changing all areas of our lives. And uh, I'm really excited for you. So as we jump in here today, um, thank you, Lisa. That was one. Congratulations on that. And you know, you're really close to executive director, just getting brand new started with coaching. It's so amazing. Like what can happen? And that's why we're going to do this training as we get started here. So as everyone's getting going here, open up the chat. I'm going to want to hear a lot of questions here because this is meant to help you guys be the best coach. We want to serve you and give you guys what you want and um, help you guys be the best coach as possible. So first I'd like to know where everyone's tuning in from. I know I can see like a bunch of people in Wisconsin. So where is everyone? tuning in from Oregon City, Virginia, Kona, Hawaii. Who's in Kona, Hawaii? I'm jealous. All over the United States. I love it. All coming together on a Saturday morning. So let me share my screen here. We're going to get started. Um, for those that don't know me yet, uh, my name is Brad Miller. I'm a certified health coach, um, presidential director, and part of your support team. I'm going to be doing most of the sharing today, but throughout this next month, I'm just going to be emceeing most of it. Um, we have a lot of great people doing lots of great things. And the cool thing about it is everyone does the exact same thing when they coach well. Like that's real. I mean, what's, what, what was helpful for me, and just so you guys know, to kind of go back a little bit, when my wife and I got started about nine years ago, it was the wild, wild west. We, we just had a system and we had a Dr. A that wanted to share health with people and we had a nutrition plan that could do it. And we talked about being optimally healthy and we just kind of did it one, one on one and it was really, really hard. But you know what? If you care about people and you set the example, it's possible. Now we have gotten the best of the best to show what it really likes is how simple coaching can be. And what I'm really excited about is it's, it's everyone does the exact same thing. They might do it with their own flavor. You might have your own style to it, but everyone at the core root does it the exact same way. And so that's what we're going to cover during this next little bit. This is what this month will look like ahead. And I actually kind of, this is um, week one. We're going to understand, uh, these are the things we're going to go over today, which is we're going to understand coaching a little bit more today and how to set up um, 
compensation a little bit, just a little bit. We're going to go with basics just so you guys can understand because Lisa, you were like, I have no idea how you're getting paid. Well, you should know how you get paid because if you like helping people, you get paid more the more you focus on people. We'll, we'll cover that in a second. Um, setting up, connecting for this entire month. So I just want to kind of get a gauge on all of this. You know, this is our prep call and we're going to really fully dive in next week. But open up the chat, drop me a one if you are new to coaching within the last one to three months. So I can kind of know what we're, you know, who we're talking to here. A lot of new people. Welcome, Barbara. Kristen, Brian, Sherry. Amazing. Okay, so what's cool about that, you guys, is you guys have never done one of these trainings with us before. So kind of the thought behind it is, um, we don't just train randomly. We don't have flavors of the week. So when we train, we train in series. Um, we do it so we can basically start all together, like start a goal, and teach you all the nuances of coaching. There are so many basics here that make all the difference in coaching. And um, the cool thing is we're going to have everyone that's learned it really well teach it. So everyone that teaches on this, they, are gonna ru they run over 10,000 frontline volume and they sponsor at a pretty decent rate, which basically means that they support a lot of clients. There's no way around it. They're really good at what they do. They've got their systems implemented and they have a consistent business, which is everything you guys want for yourselves. So uh, we're going to show you how to do it simply, easily, and I know some of you, actually what's really cool is I looked at some numbers before we hopped on this call. We have like over like 30 people in a range of hitting executive directors for the first month. So we'll get to some action steps at the end of the month. I just want to congratulate you guys. And I know as you guys are growing, you might be thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can handle more. I don't know what this looks like. We're going to show you that if you actually just follow these steps of connecting and focusing on people and just building one step at a time, it should, it should actually start feeling like a little bit less as you're moving to executive director. But also, um, you're going to notice that it's simpler um, along the way on that process. So that's what we're going to focus on. And then we're going to take this to today. So um, I love all the new coaches. I welcome you guys. Welcome. So what we're going to cover throughout this, uh, these six weeks are going to be is one this month. We're going to talk about setting up your month and everything you need to know to keep it simple and easy and what the pros do to keep it simple and easy. So that's what we're gonna cover. We're gonna cover a little bit of finishing up the month strong. And I'm also gonna educate on Zoom. So when you draw on the Zoom page, I can see it and so can everyone else. So whoever's having fun drawing, uh, just know that everyone can see what you're doing. So yes, the little the little button that, that does the, uh, the pencil thing, yeah, you're drawing on the screen right now. It's all good. I'm joking on that because we have so many new coaches. People don't even know how to use you know, Zoom fully yet. So it's all good. Um, these are the things we're gonna cover over the next few weeks. We're gonna start off by focusing on simple, authentic connections, how you can build a presence. I mean, if you're on this call, you're probably senior coach and above, so you know how to connect with people. You know how to have people reach out to you. We're gonna show you the simple steps to keep that easy and to keep making endless connections because really what coaching is, what we get paid for really, really at the end of the day is making connections. That's really what it's about because, Lisa, I'm looking at you because you just shared, you're on my screen, and we all have this powerful health store. And if we get really good at sharing it and making connections, people want what we have. And we'll show you how to support them and bring them in and duplicate your business very simply and easily. So um, we're going to cover sharing program and integrating clients simply, supporting and integrating your clients for during their first few months and layering coaching and um, layering full over health in our full program. And then we're going to focus on week five is finishing the month strong and understanding um, um, like uh, nutrition aspects of this that will help you support your clients a little bit more. And then we're going to focus on starting the whole, we'll end by recapping it all and starting a new month together. So we can show you how everyone works a month. So basically by the time we're all said and done, you're going to know all the ins and outs of coaching and you're going to see how simply it's all tied together. Does that all sound good with everyone? Drop me a one in the chat if that sounds good for you guys all. Like, just want to make sure that we're on point with all that. And as we're going through, if you have particular questions, this is meant to serve you guys. So if there's particular things you're like, I really want to know this, let me know or drop that in the chat right now because we're going to cover that. We want to make sure we really work it in over the next few weeks. So the next, the next little thing here is this is the overall goal layout of this. I'm going to move this. Okay, soft skills, Michelle Taylor. Okay, we're definitely going to cover soft skills. Who else has things that they want to learn? I'm going to, as I kind of go over this, I want to make sure I come back to this. Go ahead and drop it in the chat. Anything you guys want to learn during this next season. I'm going to 
go over the next few things here. And, but yeah, please drop me in the chat, like what it is you want to learn. But here's the overall goal during these six weeks is our goal is to help you remain consistent. So if you guys remember one thing, if this is your first training, the consistency makes the difference. It makes a difference in your health journey and helping people in your business. And consistency doesn't take a lot of time, but, and consistency will make a ripple effect that will help you change more lives. You guys are all on here because you guys want to grow your business. You want to grow your coaching. You want to help more people. So I would encourage you guys really to mark down this one hour time in the, for the next six weeks and join us. Consistency proves that one, you're going to learn so much more that's going to help accelerate your ability to help others. But just being consistent within itself is the difference maker. And um, a lot of people would share that with you on this call. We're going to show you how to share and bring up connections to social media. And we're going to show you how to do your business in eight to 12 hours a week of pockets of time, um, wherever it is you're at, that can help you create a growing business. We're going to show you how to keep coaching simple and grow one or two to three points a month from those that do it best. That does all sound good to everyone. And we're going to cover a lot of the things that are coming here. So let me come here. How to work with kids underfoot. Allison, you, we didn't really talk about that, but we should definitely talk about that because that's an artwork. Kelly, awakening coaches, awakening clients. That's definitely what we're going to talk about. L the lingo. I don't know what a lot of this stuff means, like frontline volume. Okay, so I will cover that. Consistency and simple. Sherry, you got it. By the way, Sherry, you're like, you're like a tick away from executive director. Congratulations. Layering coaching, we're going to cover that. Awakening coach soft skills. Yeah, we're going to cover all that stuff. So this is what we're covering today. This call is going to be a little bit shorter. We're going to just basically cover building blocks of compensation so you guys can have an understanding because if you're going to do the work, here's the heads up, guys. You guys should get paid really well. And you, there is a huge potential to get paid really well when you do really well or when you are good at supporting clients so, and supporting coaches. Setting up your month, your schedule, your map, your plan for connecting throughout the month. And we're going to talk about finishing up the month strong. But we're going to just set up this entire time to help you get your underlying structure done. Because what makes coaching simple is when you make it simple. It can be hectic, but we want you guys to be able to have plenty of free time. We want you to revolve life around what matters most. So we're going to show you how to do that um, so you can keep it simple. Because the long story short is when we were first starting coaching and we went executive director, we literally like, I was like, oh my gosh, how are we going to support all these people that we're helping? Like I'm losing track. It's like nine years later, we've, show, we've learned how to do it simply and easy. And we're going to show you how to do these things here. So kind of getting into the coaching review and I want to make sure that I get the chat here. We're going real quick. Let's see here. Balance, need balance. All right, Sherry, follow along with us throughout this month. We're going to show you how to do that. I'm definitely chatting with those new friends. Okay, how to make the combos work, teamwork. Okay, cool. All right, so day number one, you guys, this is the things we do with health coaching. The goal today is to set your cornerstone straight and set your month up so this will be simple to make many, many endless connections. So we only do four things as health coaches. And really, the beginning part of it is what I said a second ago, is we get, we get paid to start conversations. But these are the four things we actually do. We acquire and support clients. We acquire and we support coaches. Those are the only two things. So let, let's keep this really simple and build off of this. Those are the two things to focus on. And if your action isn't building those two things, then it's wasted time. So just make sure you guys know that so you guys like, keep, keep bringing it back to the basics. I love going into this. So I just want to do this preface because here's the heads up. If you're on this training and you follow the steps, you're going to make good income. And I'm really excited to tell you that. Like at the very least, you'll make executive director. If you follow these steps, you're going to make two to $3,000 a month at the bare, bare minimum doing this. We want you guys, like I always want to get out, out in front, get, take advantage of your tax benefits. Save your receipts of business rent. And that, you know what, now, if you're not already a self-employed person, like make sure you like, Meal, well, check the new tax laws because they just changed the tax laws. But internet, phone service, like everything that you do, travel, things that involve things with, with clients, make sure you check with whoever you do your taxes with, but save those receipts. If you do this really well, you won't have to pay hardly any taxes because there's so many write-offs to take advantage of. The other thing on that is the way you get paid is it's paid directly to you. You have to pay taxes on that. So I'd really encourage you, you don't have to do it yet, but I just want you to know ahead of time. I'd really, really, really encourage you to set up a new checking account that's just for your business where your checks get deposited. And save at the very least, set aside at least 10% a month at the very starting. 
That's the benefit of um, being self-employed. You pay way less tax percentage because Uncle Sam wants to give us tax benefits for self-employed people. So I just want to encourage you. That's the very basic place. Talk to your CPA, your accountant, whoever advises you on your taxes for the exact fit for you. But there's a, there's a couple of reasons why I do this. You guys are going to get paid really well if you learn to coach really well. And I'm excited to tell you that. And that's the beginning factor. Again, I mean, let me just actually ask the chat here real quick because we're starting the new year and a lot of people, I mean, there's so much more possible this year than you guys even know like what to see right now. If you made over $500 as an Optavia health coach, will you drop me um, a 500 in the chat? I just want to see just kind of who I'm talking to real quick. Okay, pretty much like everyone. Okay, it's a lot of 500s. All right, if you've made over $2,000 as a health coach, drop $2,000 in the chat. That's a lot of, that's a lot of thousands. This is why you set up your tax stuff. All right, if you're making over $4,000 or more on average a month, drop me 4,000 in the chat. All right. If you've made as much as five or six thousand, drop me just a like just drop me uh drop me six thousand in the chat, just so I can get an idea. That's a lot of people making good money. We could keep on going, but I want to make sure this this call is, is call is meant to be short. So all right, cool. The chat's blowing up. I can't keep up with it. Um the goal is, is we want you guys to take care of your finances. Remember what we do with people. We help people in their healthy mind, healthy body healthy finances. We want finances to be healthy for you. It's part of what we're going to offer people when we really focus on coaching with others. So make sure you take advantage of your tax benefits. If you have questions on this, I just want to get it out there. And I tell this tale because one, you're going to make good money doing this. But two, just because I also want you guys to be well educated on this. Finances can be one of the main reasons why people like, like struggle with their, their health. It could be the, the thing that causes it. And we want you to be a really good example out there in the world of what's possible. So just one more like horror story on this. The other reason why I set this up, I had someone do so well with coaching one time that they made $56,000 in a year and they didn't set up anything like this. They didn't do any of it. At the end of the year, they got a check and they had just, because it had just dribbled in their account every single month, they spent all of it unknowingly and they didn't have a dime left at the end of the month of it. And it wasn't because there's, there's expenses with health coaching. There's like no overhead with this stuff. So we want you guys to take home your money. We want you guys to be smart with, we want this to be a benefit in your life. So just want to get that in the front. So really quick, I'm just going to go over the basics of compensation. There are, uh, so Lisa, I'm talking to you because you were my first example and you're like, I don't even know how I get paid. So this is how you get paid and we can show you more later, but I will tell you hands down, you focus on people and the compensation comes. You follow the steps we lay out, you'll get paid really well. Just ask your coach. And part of setting the goals, which I'll get to here in a moment, is figuring out what you want to do next. So I'm, I can't be bold about this. I really want you guys to shoot for making good, good money doing this because there's no way around it. You can't make good money without helping people. Like, we're going to show you how to coach well. We'll show you how to make good money. We want to show you how to make good money. We're going to show you how to coach well. That's what we're going to focus on. So there's three areas we get compensated on. And that is... 15% are, I'm sorry, that's frontline uh, clients right here. It starts out at 15%, but just know that most of you guys are moving to executive director. If you're not already there, you get paid 31% of your frontline volume. Frontline volume being for the person that asked, those are your client orders. So every client that orders from you, that's your frontline volume. There's a thing called group volume. That's your frontline volume plus your team's volume. So basically, it means the sum of the amount of people getting healthy in your business. So just my, my favorite thing is my mom was not a small thinker. That's like, that's where I, I think I get a little bit of my big thinking from. And she's like, the company's going to pay me 31% to help people. I better go earn that. Like, it's the same compensation for so supporting people. Might as well make more. Plus, our company increases your compensation the more people you help. So cool, right? So like, you're helping 10 people, you're probably making around a thousand dollars a month you help 20 people you're making like twenty five hundred dollars a month so it goes up as you help more people so that's what's really cool the next thing you get paid on is supporting coaches don't get caught up in like the details of it but you make two to twelve percent of the your team that is below executive director so you you're getting paid as you're helping them establish a solid business just kind of know that it's going to be somewhere in the $100 to $200 range if you're helping them above senior coach. That's what that means right there. So for every coach on your team that you're helping, it's going to be about 
$200 if they're, if you're the executive director and they're moving up. So that's what this is right here. But then what happens when you create a ripple effect and you help someone, you make 2.5% on their entire team. That's what's really cool about this. So if you help someone create a ripple effect, which is we're just duplicating helping people, you can make a lot of income on a lot of people getting healthy. It's how well you can duplicate the setup of people getting healthy. So that's another way. And then we get bonuses. You get $100 for helping a coach come on and, and do a great job and get their first five clients. Every three months for being certified and being over 2,000 in frontline volume, you're going to get an either a 250 a $500, or a $1,000 bonus. And when you're a fully integrated business coach, which we're going to have a few more of those brand new ones this month, every three months just for being fully integrated business coach, they give you $1,000. So I'll go over this here in a second where, where we're going here, but that's why you want to get up and going and create a focus on supporting a good amount of clients and helping other people pay it forward. We'll get into that in a second, but when you do that, that is a solid business and there's a lot of bonuses to get there. And so then also as you develop your team, you get another 0.5% bonus on your entire team for being at national, global, or presidential. Each time it's another 0.5%. There's a little bit more details on this, but I want to keep it simple. Um, we'll, uh, I'm trying to keep it a check. Focus on people. You'll get paid people first. There's a lot of 6,000s in there. Um, let's see here. W2. Actually, what it'll be, will I get a W2? Actually, you're going to get a 1099. So it's different than a W2. So it's 1099 if that's what you are as a subcontractor. And so they pay you your entire sum of finances up front, and then you're going to pay taxes on that amount. That's why I really encourage you guys to take advantage of your tax write-offs. Again, I'm just going to call you what my accountant said. She made a kind of like a list of all the things that where you can make up to $50,000 in Optavia and you shouldn't have to pay taxes if you take advantage and have all of those abilities to write off. So write offs are a good thing and I want you guys to take advantage of it. Will we be considered or what is considered a certified health coach? Courtney, great question. Um, when you get started, um, you're, you're an Optavia coach. There is a um, there is a certification you can take. It's 150 questions. It takes about an hour and a half to do if you fly through it. You're meant to, it's, helped, it's, it's meant to help you learn how to coach our system better. It's open book and uh, you get paid 3% more plus bonuses for being certified. So if you guys are new coaches, I was put down as a goal to be certified this month if you're not already or by next month. So those are the way we get compensated. Let me go over real quick. We're going to get down to the focusing on people. Hold on, I'm getting so many questions in the chat. This is so awesome. Okay, LLC versus sole proprietorship. You guys, um, I've been coaching for nine years. Talk to your CPA. I've been a sole proprietor this entire time. That's just what our tax person has said with basically where we live, our tax write-off ability. We almost incorporated this year, but with the tax law changing, we're not, uh, um, we're not, we're not incorporating. Um, you can get an LLC. An LLC is basically just a limited li uh, liability corporation. It basically is an entity that protects you. But you guys, honestly, you guys, like, I just want to help you guys, like the new coaches on here, make it simple. We're going to focus right into the action of getting people healthy. I've never set up an LLC for my business. I've never done any of that. I've never even incorporated. And I've been doing this 10 years. And we make, like, we make $500,000 a year doing this. So let's keep it simple. There's not, like, that's what's benefit about doing this. We're going to keep our focus on helping people. And that's what we're going to do. And, um, but these are all good questions. Talk to your accountant, but that's, what's really simple about all this. These are great questions. Like I didn't think we were going to get into all these things. Like also, where can you find the certification test? Nicole, talk with your health coach and help get set up um, with that. And they'll help you order. It's, it's basically, you can search for it online and you'll buy it in your, um, or um, in the Optavia connect. So let's get into doing this. Great questions, everybody. Oh, I'm so excited. This guy, you guys, can't tell you how excited I am for this next month. You guys have no idea what consistency can bring to your business. And I'm sorry to get a little Brad unplugged, but I'm excited. This is our fourth copy and consistency we've done. Every single time we see people break through. We see people make more connections. We see people find the easy button. Over time, every single person that tunes in and stays consistent sees their biggest months or grows to their biggest ranks. And what's cool about that, to prove that it's the consistency that pays off. Every single time after the month we do coffee and consistency training, that tends to be our biggest month because it's consistency that builds the effort here. So I gotta mute, I gotta mute someone real quick. So many people on here real quick. Hold on. Manage participants. There we go. All right, cool. 
All right. So building blocks of coaching. Then we're going to get into setting up the month and everything you know need to know to make connections. Here's everything you need to know. Like this is the game plan. Like this is the recipe for building a solid, good coaching business. There's things called points, and those just allow us to focus on the things, the two things that we do, which is supporting clients, supporting coaches. Those are the two things we do. You get one point for every 1,200 in frontline volume and one point for every senior coach line of business. So those are the, like, just know that today. This is, like, this is day one. This is the football stuff. This is how we help people. These are the two areas to focus on. What's cool is I want you guys to remember this as we go through this. Because, again, I'm kind of talking more to the growing executive directors. The other grow, like the coaches that are above this, remember this stuff so you know that this is a solid point so you can help your team. If you can focus on growing two to three points a month, that is all you need to do to have a super solid growing business. That is a great rate. And everyone here by following these steps can probably grow even more than that, but even simply grow two to three points a month. And if you remember any one uh, thing to that is just if you can add five clients a month and partner with your coaches or partner with your clients to look for that match and bring on a coach, that is, the, that is a recipe for a growing, growing business. And you can do great things if you just follow that rate. Um, the first step of coaching is going senior coach, more like manager. It's getting your first point. So many of you guys are, you guys should all be here today. Like above this, I think DJ, you're on here. Lisa, you're on here. Like I see everyone here. If you're not, that's your first step. Focus on connecting with your client or with your potential clients, work with your health coach. Let's get started on, um, on, getting your, on, on getting your coaching kicked off. The first income for that is around $700 to $800 with your CAB assist bonus for getting started. Like that's what we're gonna help people with. Like DJ, you shot out of the gate, I see you on the screen. You hit manager your first month. Congratulations, you did it exactly right. And we're gonna show you what to do with that. The next step, there's ranks in between, and that's fantastic. Celebrate every step that works for you. But the next big step to focus on is executive director. That's where your income is going to be on the very low side, $1,500 a month, all the way up to like $3,000 a month at the beginning level, depending on bonuses. Like if you're just at the bare minimum executive director, that's five points. So everyone just know that if you're that, that's your next step. You're focusing on getting five points. I'm going to show you how to do that with our map here shortly. You can do that via, via all clients. That's great. If you're like shooting down the gate and started all clients, we call that the five and oh, five points for frontline volume points, no senior coach points. You can do it via the four and one, four points for clients, you know, 14 or 15, one um, coach on your team that's gone to senior coach. That's the four and one. So one coach or three and two where you're helping your coaches get started early where you have, you know, 10 to 11 clients and you've helped two coaches already reach the rank of senior coach. There's no wrong way to go executive director. I would say it's probably better to focus on finding your first coaches early because hold on, I got to mute everyone real quick. There we go. Unless that was a question, go ahead and come back off mute if you have a question. That's your next step. And so if that's where you guys are at right now, either I know some of you guys are focusing on that this month for the first time, or that's your step next month. Either way, that's, what we, that's, the, that's the next building block. The next one after that, and this is all on the new map, which I'm really excited about, there's not really a rank for this. So I want you guys to know this is an important building block of your business because a lot of people get lost in this if you're just following the rank system. There is the steps of building a solid executive director business. So getting your frontline volume up to like 8,500, you know, helping your next, you know, five, 10 or five or eight clients over the next few months. This is a solid business that ups your income. And you also want to be having, you know, two to three coaches on your team and helping them move forward as well. That bumps up your income significantly. On the low side, it's going to be like 3,500. But it can be as much as 5000 depending on bonuses and, you know, where your team's at and what your exact volume is. I think that's a pretty good snapshot of that. And I just basically took the average income of what I know for people that have businesses like this. So if you're already executive director, this is your next step. And last time we did this coffee and consistency and this last month, a lot of people hit this step for the first time. So I just want to congratulate you all. So this is your next step, getting up there. This is where it looks like, you know, eight or nine points where you're above the bare minimum 6,000 you have some coaches on your team because we want to set up this the net the main step is moving to fully integrated business stuff, which Jen Jen Spore Jason Spore congratulations new FIBCs yesterday congratulations well done um, and we're gonna have a lot of these new ones but 
The next step after that, as you continue to build on this, these are building blocks. So just picture like not accomplishing all this at once, all of this at once. Just focus on building solidly. Build yourself a solid foundation of solid people getting healthy. You build your business right, it'll remain solid and the people that are in it will have solid health transformations. The next step is FIBC. And that's getting there, you're like, you know, ideally getting your frontline volume up there to like 10,000 um, and having five or more lines that are senior coach and growing. They might be executive director. Some of them might be there. They may be in, the, in between, but that's the goal right there. And you're, the average income for someone that's higher, got that higher frontline volume and FIBC is going to be between $4,500 as high as 8,000. I think the highest FIBC in our business made like 9,000, but I wanted to bring it down a little because that just, you know, again, I want to keep it realistic for you guys so you can see the building blocks. So today, find out where you're at and identify the next step and work with your coaches to do that. These are the building blocks and you do this all so that you can create a stable business of global director and above. So global director is five lines of business, executive director and above and growing. The average income for global directors that are literally in our business are between $10,000 and $45,000 a month. So I just literally grabbed the exact income and you guys are of our team right here, the ranges. And if you build over time, you can build this in like, you know, I'd say if you want to do it fast, like, I mean, a year is possible, but like when realistically, what you're building over time, two to three to four to five years, that's where you're focused. You can go at your own pace. We're going to show you the steps on how to do it, but that's where the ultimate game plan is. So that, Lisa, do you understand compensation a little better now? Does that help you? Okay, cool. Just, I was looking at you because you're on my screen and you had the, you had the compensation question. I'm looking at the chat here. Awesome. Good stuff. Okay. So going into this, you guys, now we're going to set up the month. You guys are here and I want to congratulate you guys for being on this call, investing in yourself because it's going to translate into people changing their lives. This February, we're not only going to show you how to coach well and all the little nuances that keep it simple, but we're going to show you how to make connections and we're going to focus on connections. It's, it's funny. I'm just going to be unplugged with you guys today because as long as that's cool with you guys, let me know. Put, put a no in the chat if you don't want me to be unplugged. But like I had someone tell me, I was like, all right, let's take the next step of, of senior coaching above. And they were like, well, I don't want a cold call. Man, if you are cold calling, oh my gosh, you're so in the wrong range of what we're doing here. We are going to show you guys how to authentically have a presence on Facebook, to reach out and be in connection with people that want health, to awaken possibilities, and we're going to do that through consistency every single day. But it takes work. We have a hashtag. It's called DTW. It's called Do the Work. If you do the work, you'll see the results. And I promise you, if you stay with us and follow the steps of what we do, this is what your months will look like. I know some of you, it's going to look like this because it already looks like this. You started planting seeds. Like, Lisa, you're just on my screen, so I'm just going to keep talking about you. I know you started coaching just a couple months ago. You started planting seeds in December. You've changed your health. People are seeing it. You're talking to people. You, January, you're actually way ahead of this because I think you're at like almost executive director today. You have like, I think you have like four more people to go and we got time left. That's just this month but you're also planting seeds. And then these people have referrals. What's February gonna look like if you keep building on it? Who's gonna be ready? The seeds you plant here are gonna be ready here. And then March and then April. The people that were like, oh, I'm ready to do it, or like and get started, they're gonna refer to you. The people that are getting started now, there might be your next coach partners. The people that are like, that are, you know, they need to do it the hard way, they're like, I'm gonna go to the gym. They're gonna be here in February or March. We're gonna just focus on planting seeds and we're gonna show you how to plant a lot of them. So does everyone have a map? The hundreds list I talked about. And if you don't know, yeah, DJ, you're on my screen. You got it. Nice job. All right, cool. And you guys, this is, I'm really excited. We're gonna test out the new map. So long story short, I'm not gonna bore you with the history of it, but Ashley and I created the map about six years ago, five years ago. And it's helped, it helped a lot of people get really good at connection. I'll tell you the quick story on it. It was someone that just couldn't get past senior coach. And I was like, we're just, we're not focusing on connection with people. We got to make this simple and, and be in contact with people and focus on them. So we made this map and we talked about activity and the people we were supporting on health and the people that were thinking about it. And we just focused on connection. That person went executive director in a month. And then that, what we did turned into the, the map and now we use it. And so Doug and I, Doug Wood, presidential director, if you guys aren't familiar with him, you probably hear from him. We just revamped it and we're gonna test it for the field and get it, it'll be probably out officially next month, but you guys get to test run it. And I gotta tell you, like it's been checked by Doug and Terry Miller, it's pretty awesome and all the leaders here have already taken a look at it. So 
You guys got your map. Let me show you how to get set up for next month. So you guys write down these notes. I'm gonna take a drink of coffee real quick. This is how to set up your month and set up your map. And for all of those that are new, you have so many new people here that you might not know even about the map or, or done it officially for an entire month. So the map, let me explain what the map is because I want to get you guys' cornerstone straight here. The map is your tool to keep your business simple. The map is your tool to focus on your goals and where you're going. Your, your map will, will be your lie detector on your action. It will also be your truth detector when you are in action. Your map will show you where your clients are uh, not doing well. It'll help you keep better account. I'll show you more of this later. And it helps you stay focused on just building small wins that build great businesses over time. So um, I guess I haven't asked the chat on a, or anything in a while. So drop me a one if you use the map diligently every single month, the way it's lined out. All right, let's see here. National director, new FIBC, global director, global director, global director, executive director. Okay, you guys get it. Everyone that does coaching well starts and uses their map well. So let me go over um, what to do with this map when you set up your month. So but the first thing on it is before you ever come to this, this isn't a, um, a form to fill out. If you ever feel like, oh, I'm doing my map, you should feel you should honestly feel so great as you fill out your map. You should feel organized. You should be writing down the people that you're helping. This is the people you desire to help, the people you're planting seeds with, and the people that you're assisting. And if you're getting really good at assisting them and focusing on that, you'll see your business grow. But before we get there, I want you guys to sit down and say, where do I want to go? So I mentioned some things. I throw up some numbers on here. A lot of you, like, like Lisa, again, you're just on my screen, so I'm just going to keep coming back to you. You are seeing more than what you ever thought possible. I showed some income there. And I know that, you know, we're advancing our health, we're advancing our life, we're focusing on people. You guys, like, just kind of give you an idea as you guys are kind of figuring this out. I didn't even know what we made until our third month. I just was, like, so in love with the fact that I had changed my health, you guys, and I was helping other people. I wasn't even going to be the coach. My wife was going to be the coach. But I'm like, no brainer. I'm going to help other people. On the third month, we were uh, reaching executive director. My mom sent me an email and said, do you know you're going to make $2,800 this month? And I was like, no way are you serious i get paid that much for coaching people like i remember that moment vividly because i was like dude that's like that was as much as i made a month after taxes at my other job and we were doing this in like a fraction of the time and it was way more fun so i want you guys to ask yourself if we're going to give effort to this this month where do you guys want to be at what do you want it to look like what kind of business do you have so where do you want to have and make sure you write that down this is a key aspect of coaching um other things that'll really help you that the pros do best they fill out their map on the first or the last day of the month. Just so, just so you guys know, the last day of the month is not meant for working. We all know how many calendar days are in a month. Set up your month so you finish it a day early. Enjoy your smiley faces. Don't worry on finishing last minute. Take that time to enjoy all the people you're helping, planning out your next month. Keep it simple. Um, so fill it out on the last little bit and share it with your support team and send it over to them in a message. You guys are just like, you guys all have a thread, send it over to them and ask for a time to connect during the first one to three days of the month. That's especially as you're learning to grow this business. And if you, if you have some of those, if you're a beginning coach, that's what the pros do. That's how you make it really simple. Link up with your support team so they can show you their next step. But where we're going to focus today is the activity tracker. And that's what we're going to focus on for next month. So let me go over some things real quick. Um, I'm trying to keep up with the chats see here okay that's good so let me show you some of these things and when you're setting up your map um, some of them will just be review some of them are gonna be new for you and some of them will be nuances because this is all new so when you come to your map come down here and fill out where you finished the month at so if you go into your opt to be connect it'll show you where you finished up at on your ticker it'll tell you what your group volume is your frontline volume you can what's cool is after the a couple days after the month is over you'll know what your income total was learning that is key Don I see you on my screen Tom thought her monthly, her monthly bonus was her total compensation for like four years. And I was like, no, Don, you also get paid weekly. She had no idea she was getting paid weekly on top of it. So knowing your income is a good thing because it's awesome. Um, how many new clients, all those things, write this stuff down of where you finished your month at. Then go over here and write down where you want to go. So as we start this month, I really want you guys to encourage what rank do you want to be at? And get some guidance from your support team on this. You might not even know what's possible, but it should be based around growing two to three points a month. So your frontline volume, what do you want your group volume to be, income level, 
the number of clients you want to help, number of coaches you want to bring on, the number of coaches you would help a senior coach. Make those small goals, and that's what you're going to set your map on that month. Over here, this is where you write down your coaches in your business. Again, the goal is to build five and bonuses of lines of business that are growing to senior coach and to then to executive director. So write down your coaches right here because just the same way we care about our clients, we care about our coaches getting a good start. So if you have coaches, mark them down right here and their first goal is to, you, to help them get senior coach and you want to track that. Well, I'm trying to keep up with the chat here. Good questions, let's see here. Love map 2.0, this brand new one is awesome. Brad and Doug just revised it. Anyone bring any lesson amount? Let your mentor help you with the questions. Yes, Jennifer. Only write on Elizabeth. Uh, good question. That's like, I mean, you know, you're you're shooting for integrated national and you're an integrated regional. Um, I would put down all the coaches you're working with, and if you have more than than uh, than that that you're working with, you know, babe, you know, don't don't put on your lines of business that are established because you're going to work them with, with their plan. So, but the goal is to fill this all up like growing lines. Like that's the goal. The goal is at the end of this, when you're done using the map is that it's all filled. That's the game plan. The game plan is to make sure there's no white spaces in here. So I'm trying to keep up with all these questions. These are good questions. I didn't know we were going to be covering all these. Let's see here. And, and um, uh, let's see here, Elizabeth, we can connect more on that. My map looks different. DJ, uh, here, actually, I'll just ask you real quick. What's different on your map, DJ? Uh, it, it looks like a different form. I see it. She has the old map. Yeah, she's got the old map. It's all yeah. good, DJ. That's why we do in this call, gentlemen. Okay. It's the same deal. This one's just a little bit better organized, and it's got the activity tracker in it. So, by the way, that is a very, very cute baby. How old? Uh, she's almost a year. This is my why. Oh, TJ, I love that. This is my granddaughter. So cute. Probably the best why you can have. Grandkids and kids. My kids are my kids. The yeah, other one, just so you guys know, because a lot of people don't know me, our other I'm one is a wake up here. Because a lot of you guys aren't aware of what's possible. Yeah. Because once I yeah. There we go. Is awakening potential in others. You know, we have so much potential inside of us and we live in a world that we're bound by our health, bound by what's told to us, bound by what we believe is possible. And there's so much potential. I've watched the awakening of so many people on this call right now. I wish I could just have everyone talk so you guys could understand the breakthrough. Jen alone, like if you guys knew Jen story, who's also on the screen, like the breakthrough and life that's there, that's what we want for people. So that's one of my whys and my children are my whys too. Cause I also want to raise kids that bring them up that in the world as well. So sorry, that's a little tangent there, but got me all going there, DJ. So write down your coaches right here. And then you want to come over here and this is where you mark down your client, your current clients. The cool thing about this, I'm going to go basic style. So if you're experiencing this, this is just good practice, but for all you new coaches, now you're going to know what to do. You go to the bottom and you write down your coaches, premier orders in order of where they are, um, what they're set to process. The cool thing is, this is gonna help you keep track with your clients. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of heads up on this. We'll cover this throughout the month. As your clients order, cross them off their lit, off the list or highlight them, whichever one you do. I'm a cross off, Ashley highlights, you know, yin, yang. You don't have to do it exactly the same way. It's the same idea. And mark down what they order um, so you can just kind of track your month going through. And again, we're not order takers. We're not order doers. But if people are going to be on their plan, if we're going to get them what they want, they do need to have full orders. Like, Jen, I think you were helping someone yesterday because you noticed one of their clients was ordering less, and you are a good coach. So you know that that means that person, you because you know that person's goals. You were like, that probably means something's off with that person, and you had the tip to go look and help. This will help you predict the future. It'll help you understand clients better. It'll help you have a more solid business and a very stable growing business. So you come down here and it's built on ranks. These are some of the points right here. And you either earn points by a senior coach team right here or for every 1200 points of business. So as you're filling this out, um, on the first of the month, I'm going to show you what to do. So let me stop share or let's see here, get out of this screen and go to this real quick. So just so you guys can know how to fill this out, when you log into your Optavia Connect. This is what it looks like. Wait, can everyone see my screen? You guys can see my Optavia Connect right now? Okay, good, all right. 
I still see the lines. The lines are funny. I can't wait to find out who drew those. All right, so when you come into your Optavia Connect, this is what it's going to say. It's going to say your rank of where you're at in the month so far, what your volume is. This Brad, is really cool. we can't see your Optavia Connect. Oh, so every, Jen, you fooled me. You said you nodded at me. See, that's why you got back. Thanks, Denise. All right. All right, here. All righty. So going back here as we kind of wrap up here today is you go to your Optavia Connect and got my things in the way here. Um, you're going to go to, you're going to go over to client support. And what's cool is about this, if you are tracking for executive director right now, this is the report you're going to want to run today to find out how many orders you have left so you can start planning for the end of your month because you guys have orders that are planning there to go. And if you're just, if those people are taken care of, they're going to place their orders. So you go to, what I did is I went to client support and client orders and you go to projected Optavia Premier. It's going to take a second to load. So we have a lot of people that are changing their lives in our business. So. Apologize for the delay. Let me check the chat real quick while I'm finishing this up here. No, no, no. You're showing me that. Lindsay, great question. Why don't you tell people what you do? Um, but Lindsay asked because she has a great problem. She has over 30 clients, which means there's over because there's over there's only 30 spots on the front. If you have over 30 active clients, take them right over to the back and put them on there. And here's the thing too, as you're doing coaching, only put your full orders on there that you're counting. So it's only full, full orders. And another cool test is to help you see where your clients are at. If you don't know for a 90% fact they're gonna continue ordering, you, know, you might place them on there a little bit differently. So it helps you understand like where your clients are in the process. So, um, here's, so here's what to do. I'm making sure I got all the questions here, okay. So what you do here is you can go, damn, sorry, my screen's all, just do my face. So you come in here and you can, um, you're going to go over here to the side. And what you do is you click on business coach ID. You guys follow me here. I just went to the top and you're going to click on filter. And just go ahead and type in your ID number in here. If you're new, you're going to do this with your health, with your uh, support team as you start the month. So these are our orders set for the rest of the month. That's what's really cool about this. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to organize it by order of date of processing. So now it's going in ascending order of who's processing first. So that's what you're going to do on the first of the month. And then you'll fill in this map. So like right here, this is how you want to do it. Like Ashley Hendrickson, she's on plan. Um, but you know what? She hasn't been on plan recently. Shows available rewards zero. It means she's been an inactive client. In normal circumstances, if I didn't know she was going to, if she's on track, I wouldn't put her on there because, you know, it might just not be a, a full order. Um, but then I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to put everyone on my map in order that's doing full program that's on here. What's cool is you might catch someone. Someone might not be, someone might be missing. Someone might be a little bit off. Maybe their rewards are off. This will tell you a little bit about your coaching, but we'll get into more of that later. This is more to help you feel organized. And when you start a month knowing where you are, I'm going to go back to the map now. Does everyone know? Like, did they, drop me one in the chat. Does that all make sense? Does everyone know how to run your, your premiere order now? Well, we'll be able to run a premiere on the last day of the month. Denise, yes, eventually you will be able to do multiple months at a time right now. They're just getting the thing fixed. So you can't you can't do a month ahead at the moment. So cool. So everyone gets that. All right here. So stop share. Let me go back to sharing the PowerPoint. So when you grab those orders, start at the first order in order of when they're going to process. Cause that way you can track along in the month of how they're going. Cause here's the thing too. If you say like, say you get to like your second week in the month and you have an order right here and that hasn't gone through yet, but you're already crossed off to here you know that person didn't order. It helps you keep so good track of your clients so simply and easily, just in understanding where they're at. So that's fantastic. So fill out, oops, one second, I gotta click on the screen here. So fill that out from the very bottom. That's what you wanna do to start the month. And then over here, this is the, this is the difference maker in this that we started. Start identifying. Right here, this point right here is, they might not be coaches ready to go yet, they might be. 
But what we want you to start doing is identifying the match. If you're truly going to coach with excellence, and Denise, you're on my screen right now, so you can, you can, tell, you can nod a little bit more to this because I know you're good at this, you're going to see the matches. You're going to see their desire to want community or to want more or to be paid well or to do something well or to get out of medicine because there's no way you're going to work 18 hours a day, seven days a week as a nurse practitioner when you want to hang out with your grandbabies. You might need accountability. They might need awakening. I don't know. The goal, the goal is to start looking at your clients and assessing where's the matches. And then from there, because if you're a good coach, you'll see the matches. So that's what we're going to focus on. So that's this mark right here when you fill out your map. And then over here, mark down. You're going to have a hundreds list that we're going to drip on. But I want you guys to write down your top, like your closest. The people you know are getting started, either uh, top 10 coach candidates or client candidates. That's how you use your map. That's how we keep it simple and easy. And as you're going through the month, you just add people to the top to your goal. So let's say a lot of people you guys starting are starting here. Let's say you have one senior coach. And let's say you already have about 3,600 in frontline volume set to go. That's awesome. E executive director next month will be a no brainer. All you have to do is start probably three, maybe max four clients, but I know you're going to start more if you do this process with us and maybe you might bring on your next coach. It shows you exactly how far you are away in the form of people to get to your next goal. So that's how we do it. And then we're going to come down to our activity tracker, which I'm going to explain here in a second. So that's how to fill out the map. Does anyone have any questions on the map? We want to make sure you're good on this. Make sure to take a picture of it, fill it out. If you're doing it for the first time, do it with your support team. But everyone, whether they've been doing it for five years or five weeks or five days that are senior coaching above, do the map. So use it because it'll help you stay organized. What we're going to focus on this month when we set up our, our stuff is we're just going to focus on connection. We focus on something called three, three, and three. That's new. For, that might be new for some of you guys. It's committing. And that's what we're going to commit to this month. And this is where you're going to see the breakthrough if you stay consistent with us three conversations a day. So that might be in person or at the very least you can open up Facebook and say hi to somebody. Just literally being in connection is a difference maker. I won't even get into social media algorithms this week. That'll be next week, but that will blow your mind. The more valuable you are on Facebook or Instagram, wherever you spend your time, the more people will see it. Take lessons from Lisa Stewart. I seriously, Lisa, why are you the first person I see every time I open my Instagram? I don't know, like, because you bring a lot of value. I know the answer to it. So we're going to focus on three of these a day. If you want to grow faster, feel free to double it. That's key too. We're going to focus on social media posts. So being bold. And that doesn't mean like, hey, look at this weight loss before and after. It means bringing value. It might be about your journey. It might be about like your health. It might be about something. But people follow people that are moving forward. And if you post often, people will see it often. And your drips, it's like adding like an accelerating gas or a gasoline to the fire if you're doing these steps. And all you have to do is remain consistent. You'll see the, the, um, the touches over time. And then the other point here is new Facebook friends. So if, if you're either meeting new people and adding them to Facebook, or you're finding people that you're not Facebook friends with, that you're not connected with and adding them. If you commit to three of these a day, you guys, that's over like three of these a days is over like almost a hundred connections a month just by little pockets of time each day. That doesn't even include your, your clients that can be referring to you and all of those people and all the people that might just chase you down. If you commit to doing this or feel free to double it, you'll have a ton of possibilities, especially in the month of February where people are starting to realize whatever, they either didn't have a plan or their friend is your client and they need to join what their friend is doing or they tried the gym and it's not working or they were like, they just forgot to reach out to you. One of those things is gonna happen. And if you're in connection, they'll be thinking of you. We're gonna show you how to do that. And that's where we're starting up. The first place to start is making your list. Start with the easiest first, but I would make sure like you try to expand it to a hundred people on here. And again, we're gonna focus on connecting with these people. Put the people at the very top that you know, that are like that you're already reaching out or probably connecting with, that's great. But we just wanna create a list so we can create intention with these people. And if you stay intentional, five clients at the short end of this month in a short amount of time. So again, we're not going to go over this real quick. A lot of you have it either revamp it or start it. That's key. And then have your health assessments. So a lot of you guys already have these. If you don't have them or if you, if you don't have them and if you do have them, just make sure they're in your binder because you want to have these. So you can just grab for your clients as they come out. Cause people are going to reach out to you. We want you to be ready for it. The last thing about setting up here, um, Last thing about setting up here is setting up your schedule. So I did a Zoom or a live yesterday because um, 
guaranteed a few people feel a little discombobulated um, after the new year. So what we want you to do is we want you to mark down your schedule. Look at what works for you and schedule in your pockets of time. Schedule in your 15 or 30 minutes of connection time where you can do your three, three, and three in pockets. Maybe your lunch time, maybe in the morning, maybe throughout the day. Everyone's got different setups. But if you commit to and find the time to schedule it in, it'll happen. Figure out what days you're going to be most available to connect with potential clients because you don't, guys, what we want for you as you do this, we don't want you to feel like frantically working 24 seven. We want you to have balance and we want you to do what we teach people is living on purpose. You're either on purpose with your family. You're either on purpose with what you're doing. You're either on purpose, you know, relaxing or you're on purpose in your business. Having a schedule will make you 10 times more effective. And if you haven't already yet, pick a check-in day, be checking with our clients one day a week or two if you want to spread it out and that way that'll up your your ease of connection it'll up the amount of time you feel you have to do things and it'll help your clients stay better connected with you we'll get more into that as we go but the other thing you want to put in there is follow-up time on top of your conversations pick a time each week that you'll commit to following up with the seeds you're planting that we show you how to plant and then of course copy and consistency training if you if you join in and are consistent on these things and put these in your schedule this is less than 10 hours a week of connection time, you guys. And we're going to put it into the pockets of your schedule. So as we wrap up here, you guys, that's everything. This is the setup of your month. And what's cool is, like, I'm looking at Denise. I saw Jen on here. Like, Lindsay was in the chat. There's so many people. If you just set up these things, these are what all the people that do their business simply do well. And I love that because it, I hope that gives you confidence that you don't have to go reinvent the wheel. Follow the systems. Find your voice, lean on your support team, don't do this alone. Learn to ask for help and ask for guidance. Mentorship is not something that we do really well in this country. Many of you guys probably have jobs where you're the boss, you're the go-to person, and you know all the answers. You've never coached before. So if you really wanna be good at helping people, become very coachable and teachable. So this is what I wanna talk about is finishing the month, is wherever you're at right now, we have 28, 20, or 27, 28, 29, there we have four days. There's four days a lot can happen. So reach out to people, follow up with the people you've been asking uh, or have been asking, start your three, three, and three process today to start working towards that. And the people that you've been layering on, dripping on that are on your list that you've been doing with these things, we're gonna have a call Monday night at 6 p.m. It's gonna be a real stories of health call. And it's gonna share some stories of health of what health looks like and what our program offers. And you guys have literally blown Ashley I away this month that. For that entire evening, we will offer $25 incentive towards scholarship that anyone decides to start their health journey that night. So feel free to help us go broke, because back to tax write-offs, we need more of them, says our accountant. Um, but um, we like $25 because honestly, it's a great reason for someone to say yes and not put off their health one more day. Sometimes we're that encourager for people not to wait, because I know, I think we've all been there. Some of you guys were ready to start, some of you guys put it off. I put off my health journey for like two years. I wish I wouldn't have waited. I wish someone would have offered me something to help me get started sooner. So we're gonna do that to help you guys finish up your goals and where you wanna be this month and help more people join up to cap off the month. And that literally, we're doing that purely because you guys are crushing it. We're so amazed by what you're doing. We want, we're excited for you guys to see the victories of your business and to keep on going. So as we wrap up here today, this is everything you need to know as we move into next month. And these are the things I would write down as we finish up here. Week one, as we go in, Lead with your health. I, will, I really encourage you guys, if you're gonna dive in with us this month, lead with your health. When you are on fire in your health, you're on fire to help other people. That's step one. So what are you pursuing in your health? It doesn't need to be five and one. You might be in a different formulation of your plan right now. Um, but find something to get on fire on in your health, and I encourage you to jump in and lead with us on that because you're, you're, you're contagious when you're pursuing your best health. Um, Plus fat burning is amazing if you're on fat burning. That gets, helps you get more things done. Work your map and your 100s list daily and get that set up and connect with your support team. Finish your month strong. You guys, a lot of you guys, like I've had people be like, oh, you know, it's four days left. I don't know if any, like so much can happen in four days. Like four days can be anything. Four days are a reason for people to start. You can literally reach out with this exact one. We have the Monday night call, but you could literally reach out with the, I'm working on who wants to reach out and wants to work on some health goals in February. Would you like to get started? Like just any reason to reach out to people, finish, finish the month strong, go above and beyond where you're at and set up your month going forward, connect with your support team and start doing your three, three and three. That's everything you guys, like that's the setup. If you guys get this stuff put in, 
you'll be totally good for next month. You got everything covered. And if you build this into your schedule, your coaching will duplicate incredibly. So that's what I got for you guys today. Like incredible call everyone. I love the chat. This is incredible. I love it. Best season, concise, simple. I love it. We just hit the eight o'clock mark. So you guys, Monday night, we'll post some information about that. Feel free to utilize that, but literally follow up. Invite the people that have been watching, asking questions, or you've been talking to. Invite them personally. And so we'll do a live to really kick off the, the beginning of the month in the Facebook page to kind of reinforce some of these things to remind you on the first of the month. But if you concentrate on just these steps this week, this will save you hours of time during the month, and it'll make you 10 times more effective. So put these into place. Make your life easy and think about what you want to accomplish this month. So next week, we're going to cover social media, sharing, bringing value, what that looks like, and bringing it to the phone and setting up integrated clients from the start. You won't hear from me. I'll just be the moderator. Um, but um, you're going to hear from the people that do it best and run the highest frontline volume and support the clients the best. Some of them, what's really cool is they do it with a full-time job. Some of them, this is now their full-time job. Some of them, this is their full-time job, but they're, it's only part-time hours. Anyway, you're going to learn from the pros that do it next week. So um, I'll also make a post in the page. I want to know what you guys want to know more of. I mean, we know what to show you because we know what works, but we want to know what you're really wanting to know more of. So I hope today was helpful. You have the blueprint. You have the setup. Next month, join us in committing to making connections. You have no idea what can happen once you start making consistency in this. It's so much fun because you'll start saying things like, I had no idea this person was watching or, oh my gosh, this, Denise is nodding as I'm saying this because she knows all these things. Oh my gosh, I never thought this person would get started. Like, oh my gosh, that seed I planted a long time ago, that person got started and that made that seed that I, I, I plan to get started. It just comes down to consistency. We're going to do it fun, simple together and take the steps one step at a time. All right, you guys, we're already two minutes over. So have a great Saturday, my friends. Finish up the month strong. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Thanks for bringing the fire and touching so many lives. Have a great week, everybody.